what's up guys in this video we're going to move away from the events section for some time and let's add a quick ticker on our home page which is this i want a small clock widget using a view component so i'll show you how we can do that okay um, let's quickly set up a view component and then i'll show you how we can do that and in the meanwhile i'll need moment.js one npm library javascript library which is very famous for you know, any javascript based date functionalities which is very similar to what carbon gives us so let's install that while it is getting installed inside components i'll add a new file which is clock.view let's have the template and the script okay okay so quickly look at the markup um you have a clock and a wrapper div in which you'll have a month and year wrapper i'll have a string in here and um let's have date time string here okay so as you know we need to declare these two in our data so inside return we'll have we'll just copy them okay so yeah export default um is moment installed yes it is so let's import moment okay and after data what we need to do is the thing is very simple you know um, inside created first we will initialize the date so okay hmm? yeah what is happening okay so this dot date time string will be equal to moment um where is the documentation so this is the format right let's copy this and i'll paste it here what we want is um how do we want it t u e is today is wednesday so wednesday w e d then my hour minute seconds and then am pm okay let's keep this to hh H as well okay and then let's have this equals um same thing and only thing will be it will be month yeah okay <clears throat> so let us uh, go to our main app.js register the component and inside require we'll have component slash clock dot view okay uh, is my node watch running yes it is so this is done and what is my home blade this is my home blade right so you're logged in why don't we display it here uh, or rather uh, just create a new row and we'll have clock just to make things simple okay and we'll have this 
fine let's go back to our application hmm. something is wrong i think so cannot read property base path what happened why is it looking for a base path and not getting it um, okay i think i have a config.js where it is creating a problem yes window laravel base path is not available why don't i add that quickly do i have that in my app no do we um yeah so i'll have to copy this this is here inside app i'll just add this okay and i think it should now work yes so if i hit refresh quickly you can see the time will change right 15 18 23 24 it's fine now the only thing remaining is i need to make this automatic right so we'll use the set interval to get that thing to working now this is created this is initially we are doing this and then what we will do is inside set interval we'll have a arrow function we'll run this every one second and we just need to replicate this okay and i think we are done yeah right so we have the clock running and yeah that's what i wanted to show a quick way to you know, play around with the um, view widget to have a clock of our own thanks for watching guys if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel